this is Roger, thanks for dropping by. We're heading for a very wet and windy period. Um, today probably the last day of um, non-rain and non-wind, so I thought I'd have a quick look round some of the things that are happening in the garden. Signs of spring. Now this little um, perpetual wallflower doesn't look much at the moment, it's only got a couple of spikes on, but if you look Every crown here is full of buds. It's going to be a mass of flowers down the line. Um, some of these herbs need to be trimmed back. Um, they need to be trimmed quite hard so that they become a bush again rather than long and straggly. And this is for Carol. I can't remember the name of these plants. All I remember is that Carol said, for goodness sake, don't let them sit in water. They don't like soggy roots. And I know they have flowers, um, flat top flowers, um, and lovely feathery foliage. But um, they were all put in here. I don't think they've all made it, but some have and have started to grow. Um, now, obviously, as we get better weather, um, this pot will start to dry out more often and they'll be in a, a better environment to grow on. Um, I've still got to cut the buddleias back but um, I got caught out once around my other house where I cut them back hard early in the year and all new growth started to push out and we had a really sharp cold spell in March and it took all that young, group, uh, young growth off just burnt it off basically. They are supposed to be hardy but the very tender young growth isn't necessarily. So although I will cut these back I'm leaving it for a bit. Um, obviously I don't want too much to extend and waste energy but um, you know long big bits like this can come back to a, a nice strong shoot. So uh, we'll get that done. And then um, coming round here uh, let's go the other way. <laughs> uh, this row of primroses is looking good now. And as time goes on, uh, that will become a complete row. Um, I think that's going to look really good. I mean, these are one of my favourite blooms, primroses. They, ju they just say woodland, don't they? So there's that. And then, I'd forgotten about these. I didn't plant these. These came up last year, but nowhere near as many. So we, we've got some nice daffodils now, dotted around in other places as well. And these, if I remember rightly, are hyacinths. And again, I didn't plant those. Um, the camellia buds are starting to swell now. <laughs> and how on earth that has got in there, I really don't know. Um, it looks remarkably like, I don't know what that is. Could say it's wisteria, but the leaves don't look right. I don't know what that is. <laughs> don't remember seeing it before anyway. But yes, if you look, the camellia buds are starting to swell quite nicely. And there's an awful lot of them this year compared with last year. Do you know, that's, um, I should know what that is. But it's coming up into this camellia bush, so I'm not sure whether it's going to be allowed to stay. We shall see. Clematis. That's what that is. Where on earth has that come from? It's going to have to have come through from next door, because there was no clematis here last year. This is a climbing um, plant. It has lovely blooms on. Well, it might do. <laughs> anyway, so the camellia's looking good. Um, just uh, as a matter of interest, the, um, the work that Hannah did trimming these plants back, you look at the response to trimming this everywhere. Lovely young growth. So this will clump up nicely and become a nice solid bit of green, um, filling in this gap as well um, so that we don't have to look at the fence. Um, more primroses in here and some bulbs. Now, those look like snowdrops, <laughs> yes. Not quite sure what these are, but what I know is I planted 
bluebells, snowdrops and fritillaries here. The reason being, this is, this is where Elvis is. This is, this is his marker. So uh, the idea was to get some nice flowers in that corner. Right, then over here, more snowdrops that I didn't plant. Daffodils, snowdrops, I didn't plant these, they were already in there. And I'm quite sure what those are. They look like tulips. I don't remember having tulips. So again, I didn't plant them. But coming over here, we get to what I did plant. So these are the daffodils that I planted last year. They're coming on now. Um, we've got a lovely clump of something there. Not quite sure what, but um, that's coming on. And then um, more snowdrops coming up in places. Bulbs coming up at the back there. Those do look like bluebells actually. Um, yeah, more primroses, aquilegias coming on. These are fritillaries. They seem to be coming on nicely. They seem to come up as though they're not going to make it. Well, that one might not actually. Might have been nibbled. But uh, some of them are growing. I think there was quite a few planted in there. And uh, we've got more daffodils coming up here and snowdrops going over. <laughs> going to seed which they will be allowed to do if they do manage to get any seed going it just you know it says it fills up parts of the garden fills up where there were gaps again these I did plant more daffodils this over here somewhere here and it looks like it might be there I planted some lily of the valley Although this might be, oh, I don't know, I forget. But whatever that is, it's got a bud on. <laughs> so there are things coming up here that I'm not quite sure what they are because I forget where I planted what. It's a long time ago these plants went in. The um, hellebores are looking nice. Um, having got that uh, pot out of that corner, a few ferns went in there. They should make a nice clump of feathery green in that corner so uh, there we go sort of signs of spring um, little signs if you look this bush um, verbena I think it is I'm not sure don't quote me on that the blooms have gone it blooms on bare wood but we're starting to get greenery showing now so it's going to burst into leaf soon Again, I hope that doesn't get caught by the frost. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so the rose is shooting out. This is starting to put on its new growth. That's good. The um, fuchsia, that's going to have to be cut right back as well. Um, that will go back till, to virtually ground level. But I don't want to do that until I see signs of growth. Um, that's what I did last year and it worked well, so we shall repeat that. So uh, there we go. Things to come. Some of the things I planted coming into flower. And uh, yeah, I, you know, once we get into sort of early summer, then everything that's going to grow in this border will have either done so and started to go over or will be pushing on and at that point I'll know where the gaps are and once I know where the gaps are we can get some plants into some of those gaps we've still got these to plant over here there's eight plants over here um, four of them are thyme um, then we've got some creeping flocks some low growing flocks and some weeds <laughs> but we've still got those to plant Certainly the flocks, they will go in this border, but I need to know where the gaps are. So once we know where the gaps are, we can get those in the ground. And I'll get some other stuff to fill in some of the other gaps so that um, in the, you know, in the future, there won't be much, you know, bare soil. There'll be more plants than soil. It's a bit thin on the ground in places at the moment, but then... 
you know, last year was its first year getting planted. And um, this is, the, you know, this year will be the re results of that planting, plus some extra stuff to go in once we know where the gaps are. So, anyway, I thought we'd just have a quick look round as we haven't done so for a bit. Things are progressing, you know, it's looking good. Especially, this is what I like to see, something that I planted coming on nicely. You know, it's a nice little group of... Uh, early daffodils. Next year they will probably be even earlier because um, they'll have had a chance to feed themselves and everything through this year's leaves. So uh, there we go. Things are moving slowly but surely and um, certainly this group of daffodils this, this is a lovely splash and I can see these from indoors you know when I'm working on the orchids and things I can see these through the through the window. Looking good. Right See you next time. Thanks for dropping by.